Yeah, like the, the Pete Doherty involvement, um, we've read like a few different things, something like one story was that you were busking to him outside, another one was like that you got actually got in the venue, what, what actually happened? Well, we're outside, we're waiting outside uh, where a CD, or we're, we're EP, we had an EP out at the time on uh, one manager's local label that was called Two Thumbs, and so we were waiting outside with that. Uh, uh, to give it to Pete, um, and I think we did, we did, at that time we always tra- we always had a guitar kicking about, like someone was carrying a guitar or was doing, like with, so I, I imagine there probably was a guitar there, but we weren't like busking for money. We were probably just having a jam outside waiting. Um, but I and I gave Pete the CD, and uh, he took us on the tour bus. It was the first time I'd been on a tour bus, and I was like, whoa, this is well, it's well cool. Uh, and then he listened to the CD like. While I was sitting in the back lounge with him, and I was like, it's probably in the most nervous times I've ever had in my life. But I was like, like obviously a huge fan at the time, and also like just when people were like, like that you respect their music, listening to your music. But and he was like, he was into it, so he was like, I you could play the night, and I was no way. So I went took took me up the stairs in Fat Sam's, and up to the promoter's office, and it was like these guys are playing like sort them out with passes. And the promoter was like, nah, man, like there's too many. There was already like five bands on the bill or something. And I was kind of like, oh, well, this is the end of that like, kind of thing. But he, he pulled the old, these guys are playing an no playing trick. And I was like, holy shit, this guy's serious. Like, and uh, eventually, so we got, he said, like, you can go on for 20 minutes, like as soon as the doors open. So literally, as soon as the doors open, we fired up. There was nobody there. And like, but we'd put out on MySpace and all that at the time. So like people knew from Dundee and they were all like running into catch was in that. It was just, it was epic, like uh, it's good night. And yeah, um, that's quality, yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. I was like still can't really believe it to be honest. Like, yeah, it was lucky. And uh but then he followed up as well. I mean, we got after that, we, the next time we played with them was in the rhythm factory, which was like again like CBGBs or something. I thought at that time, you know what I mean? Like it was like it heard about it but I'd never been there and to go there the first time and support Davy Shambles was amazing and then it turned out that that was a test of to see if we were allowed to do the UK tour so because they had their sort of their agents and all that there and then we got the UK tour which was even more amazing eh? that was our first ever tour so yeah yeah, yeah. that's it it's, yeah do, do we like we just kind of like bang up for taking opportunities kind of thing even though you were a bit nervous maybe in some moments yeah, yeah. I mean, I seem nervous, but we're quite cocky, like, when we were, <laughs> yeah. when we were younger, like just, uh, that actual moment on the tour bus, I was sort of quaking it, like, but... Um, yeah, was it just you as well, I suppose, if you're by yourself, it's a bit intense. Uh, 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 but it was cool. I mean, it was cool. It made, uh, the, him and the band made us feel welcome in that, like, but surreal experience, definitely, like, uh, yeah, yeah. it was cool. And yeah, we've done we've done loads of tours with Shambles, Libertines, and all that off the back of that. They've really sort of helped us out over the years and that. And it's been cool because we were like, I was kind of saying like I'd like started playing the guitar because of Oasis, but I started to like writing songs because of the Libertines kind of thing or something. I don't know, is that kind of vibe like it was like sort of a proper sort of kick up the arse, like again, like sort of it weren't like it was uh, really inspirational to us. So it was like really surreal to sort of be playing with them and all that. Well, I can imagine it was the same for me. Like, uh, we're a similar age, I think, and um, yeah, like he definitely ins- inspired me to pick up a guitar. Yeah. Definitely, if it made you feel like you could do it, just write a song. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't sort of they seemed very accessible. So it just like they were also just, like speaking to people online and stuff. It kind of broke that sort of rock star crowd barrier thing, kind of thing. It was it all seemed very cool. Which I think sort of gave the impression that it's all right to go up and give them a CD and ask if they can get a gig, do you know what I mean? 